Homeward Bound, June 24 A Perpetual Covenant You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, His own special people. 1 Peter 2, verse 9 When the Lord delivered His people, Israel, from Egypt and committed to them His law, He taught them that by the observance of the Sabbath they were to be distinguished from idolaters. It was this that made the distinction between those who acknowledged the sovereignty of God and those who refused to accept Him as their Creator and King. As the Sabbath was the sign that distinguished Israel when they came out of Egypt to enter the earthly Canaan, so it is the sign that now distinguishes God's people as they come out from the world to enter the heavenly rest. The Sabbath is a sign of the relationship existing between God and His people, a sign that they honor His law. It distinguishes between His loyal subjects and transgressors. From the pillar of cloud, Christ declared concerning the Sabbath, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. The Sabbath, given to the world as the sign of God as the Creator, is also the sign of Him as the Sanctifier. The power that created all things is the power that recreates the soul in His own likeness. To those who keep holy the Sabbath day, it is the sign of sanctification. True sanctification is harmony with God, oneness with Him in character. It is received through obedience to those principles that are the transcript of His character. And the Sabbath is the sign of obedience. Those who from the heart obey the fourth commandment will obey the whole law. They are sanctified through obedience. To us, as to Israel, the Sabbath is given for a perpetual covenant. To those who reverence His holy day, the Sabbath is a sign that God recognizes them as His chosen people. It is a pledge that He will fulfill to them His covenant. All who accept the sign of God's government place themselves under the divine everlasting covenant. The fourth commandment alone of all the ten contains the seal of the great lawgiver, the creator of the heavens and the earth. Those who obey this commandment take upon themselves his name and all the blessings it involves are theirs. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, pages 349 and 350.